So I don't know how long this video is gonna be and I just wanna sit here and say, if it takes this much to just to play a video game, man, why are we even playing it? From constant cheaters to cheap providers that become somewhat of the man who switches his roles, we've come a long way since just Corona Zens and people using mouse and keyboard on console. Because believe it or not, that used to be considered a cheat. I don't really know if Call of Duty's worth every single person going through all this just to sit there and play a simple game. I understand why people want to go and get bot lobbies, but geez louise, man. Look at all the news that's come out. Zeebler is a phantom overlay guy, a guy who sits there and makes millions. We're talking about millions, people. Millions. Do you understand? Millions. Millions of dollars in cheats. And all of a sudden, this guy becomes the hero? Because Call of Duty can't sit there and get a proper, you know, uh, whatever, anti-cheat together, right? Again, millions. So you guys mean to tell me that this guy just all of a sudden has a change of heart? So where is the change of heart for the cheats that you're providing? Where is the change of heart for that? It's always questions, people. Questions, questions. That's I'm not a hacker hunter. I'm a man who asks questions. So you guys tell me down in the comments. Tell me. Where is the change of heart for this guy to sit there and stop his cheats? After all, he's the one person that remains undetected. The one cheat provider that remains. And I think there's no even no, what is it? Ceased and desist on him. So you tell me. If something doesn't seem... Not right here. And I know that I bring conspiracy theories. I understand that I bring things that may seem left field, but understand that I'm a man who asks questions. The Call of Duty scene is in pretty much shambles right now. And we're not talking about content creators. We're talking about the people that you don't see. Small guys like you guys. You guys that come into the comments and sit there and comment about these things. Something just ain't right. And why is it when you look at the exploit and you see other people that are making videos about the exploit, why is the data not matching up? Okay, I understand that we can't sit there and duplicate the stuff because they already put a patch in, but you could duplicate something. And then if you are smart enough to sit there and understand this stuff, which very few people are, things still don't make sense. Now, I know I don't have access to everything, but I just want to sit here and say that without people coming onto the side of a conspiracy theory, without people asking questions, and that without people looking at things like they're detectives, we pretty much wouldn't have the other side of anything. You pretty much just accept things for how they are and never question nothing. Now I'm the type of person that sits there and questions things and brings things to you. It's up to you to make up your own mind about certain things that are going on. Because in my personal opinion, something just isn't right. For those of you of you that haven't been keeping up with the story, I just want to reiterate that a lot of people have come to the conclusion that not everything is shared here. Why is this guy giving out Activision any sort of exploit? How is he giving out this exploit? If he knew this was going on, why did he not stop it ahead of time? Why is the person that created this exploit not out here speaking for themselves? Why does this guy use his phrases like I or me? How come more in recent times has he been so open to talk to anybody? But then when it comes to certain questions, the questions ain't answered. I personally have reached out myself to ask him a couple questions, something about shadow ban, but I have received zero response. He did sit there and say to ask him anything, but then again, didn't respond to my question. If you want to join me on the conspiracy theory side, let me just tell you a couple things. What I'm about to say is not really real. It's just my thoughts. Again, I'm always just here to sit and give kind of my thought on things at the conspiracy theory side. And I know that people don't really relate to the conspir conspiracy theories, but let's just dive a little bit. I really don't think that he sat there and provided all the information for reasons that it might lead back to him. I think that the information that he did give is valid, but it's very limited for reasons of also leading back to maybe people that might be on the inside. I know a lot of people tend to lean away from this, but how else are we supposed to think about this? So I think this, and to put it in simple form, uh, it's like this. I believe there's somebody at Activision, him or somebody else that worked there. There's a reason why this guy is always one step ahead or doesn't never have his stuff be detected. I know he likes to state that he's good at his job, but I think what he's good at is good at maybe being on the inside or making this stuff from the actual place, which is Activision. I heard that there was about, what, $26,000 uh, that they paid for the code to be released. And uh, yeah, that's just uh, what people are talking about. And I really not choose to disclose where. I believe as time goes on, Activision may have an internal investigation going on and in that these things are getting closer and closer to this man. 
In some ways, I feel like he wants to throw people off. So this exploit that he might have found a long time ago, not this other guy that he portrays, because again, that guy has not been anywhere to be seen. It's just some text on a paper or some pictures of him replying. Heck, at this point, he could pull anybody out of his butt crack and pretty much just put him up and sit to have him say this. But at this point, I think they got an investigation going on and they're pretty much getting close to him. So in order for them to throw him off the scent, this comes out. So again, this is just a conspiracy theory, but hey, bear with me. This is what I do. If you enjoyed what you heard today, please do hit the like button. I know sometimes these videos seem to be a little left field. I get it. I don't always work on facts. I understand that other people that I associate it do, and that's very understandable. But without people like me, people do not look into things. People do not use their brain. People do not do a lot of things. They just accept things for how they are. And I like to provide a little different information, even if it is does lean into the conspiracy side of things. Although it's frowned upon, I understand that. So bear with me. That's what my videos are about. Not always about facts. Not always about fiction. Just about you using your brain. So please do hit the like button if you liked what you heard. And if you really like it, hit the sub. Or if you want to see me on my second channel just riding my e-bike around or fishing, hey, I'm the man for you. It'll link will be down below. I do appreciate it. Till next time. Yeah. Get 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 Get